everybody, it's Coach Tesha from The Three Day. First, I hope that you are all safe and that you are staying healthy. Second, if you have not yet heard about the new fundraising and loyalty reward programs, please pause this and go to the 3 dayorg rewards to read about them. There's some really exciting changes coming for 2021. Now, this video is going to be about seven minutes long, so get comfy. And I should add here that I have a lot of notes and reminders that I want to make sure I include. So when you see me looking down to read, it's just to make sure I don't miss anything. The purpose of this video is to let you know about a change in the way that we'll be handling fundraising moving forward for participants who are registered for more than one three-day event. As you saw on the website I just mentioned, one of the rewards is that when any participant raises $5,000 or more for one city, you earn a free round-trip airline ticket and a Thursday night hotel stay for that event. In the past, multi-event participants were able to choose how you wanted to distribute your donations among your three-day fundraising accounts. You could put all of your donations into one account, you could break it out evenly between your events, or just have random amounts in each one. As long as the totals added up, you were able to complete your online check-in. Now, due to the way that we need to process donations in order to give the new $5,000 fundraising reward, we need to have all multi-event participants collect donations in each of your three-day fundraising accounts. So what this means for all participants who are joining us in more than one 2021 three-day is that you will need to raise your required fundraising minimum in each separate three-day fundraising account. Let me say it again. All participants who are joining us for more than one 2021 three-day need to reach your fundraising minimums with donations in each city in which you are participating. This change doesn't increase the amount you need to raise to participate unless you want to earn that $5,000 hotel and airfare reward. It just changes the way that you need to distribute your donations if you had not been doing it this way previously. Remember, everyone has a fundraising minimum for the 2021 three-day. For walkers, it's $2,300. For 20 mile walkers, $750. Crew, $100. Youth Corps, $500. So let's go through a couple of examples of how this works. Let's say you're walking in both New England and San Diego. You must have $2,300 in your New England three-day fundraising account to complete online check-in and get your credential for the New England event and then you must have $2,300 in your San Diego account to complete online check-in there and get your credential to walk in San Diego. If you're walking in Chicago and crewing in Dallas-Fort Worth, for example, you must have $2,300 in your Chicago three-day account to complete online check-in and get your credential, and then $100 in your Dallas-Fort Worth account in order to complete check-in there and get your credential to crew in Dallas-Fort Worth. What if you are walking in New England and Dallas-Fort Worth, and you want to earn the free airfare and the Thursday night hotel stay in New England? In that case, you must have $5,000 in your New England account to get your travel reward for New England, and then $2,300 in your Dallas-Fort Worth account to complete online check-in and walk that event. If you are participating in only one city in 2021, and you want to earn the free flight and the Thursday night hotel stay, you must have $5,000 in that city's fundraising account to get your travel reward. My last example, what if you're walking all four cities? Well, wow, that's incredible and amazing, first of all. And you must have $2,300 in each one of your three-day fundraising accounts to participate in each one of those cities. The simplest way to do this is to focus on fundraising for one three-day at a time. So start sending all of your donations to the fundraising account for your first three-day, and then once you've reached your goal for that event, then start sending donations to the next fundraising account. You don't have to do it that way. You can collect donations in all of your fundraising accounts simultaneously, as long as you meet your minimum requirement in each account. But personally, I find the one at a time way a little simpler. I also know that some of you have already been fundraising under the old guidelines. So if you need to have donations moved from one three-day fundraising account to another, please go to the 3 dayorg slash donation request to complete a form there to make that request. Again, that website is the 3 dayorg slash donation request. 
Now, before you complete that form, there are a couple of rules that you need to know about moving donations. Number one, donations can only be moved to another fundraising account for the same participant. The rules about moving donations from one person to another have not changed. Number two, because of the way that matching gifts are processed, we are unable to move a matching gift or the donation that initiated that match from one three-day fundraising account to another. And lastly, only whole donations can be moved. We cannot move portions of donations. So for example, if you have three $100 donations, you can move $100, $200, or $300, but you cannot move $150. Now, I know all of this is different than how some of you have fundraised in the past. Thank you for your patience and your understanding with this necessary change. We're telling you now so that you can keep this in mind as you fundraise in the future. And don't forget, we are here to help you. If you have questions about any of this, please reach out. You can go to the 3 dayorg slash contact to see the email addresses and the phone extensions for each event city. Thank you, 3 Dayers, for everything that you continue to do. Please stay safe, and we cannot wait to see you in 2021. Like, we really can't wait to see you. Stay safe, and we'll see you in 2021.